All right, welcome back, Cheap Pete's Garage. Today I'm going to do a little will it run cold start on this 1965 Ford Fairlane. It's got a 289 V8. It's got a manual three-speed column shift transmission with the overdrive. Um, it has no gas tank hooked to it, so I'm going to just going to run it off a bottle. The water pump leaks profusely the last time I had it running, so there's probably no coolant. But it's been probably two years, two and a half, maybe even three. I can't even remember exactly for sure, but it's been quite a while anyway since I've had it started up. By just pouring gas in the carb and filling the bowl up. But let me give you a little tour here. It's actually got pretty decent paint on this whole thing. It was somebody's project that they never took and got to. They kind of tore stuff apart, and that's as far as they got on it. But I think just paint, you know, if you took and did a little buffing on it, would probably take and look pretty darn decent. You know, it does have a little rust in the quarters and stuff. Interior, they started pulling stuff out of that. Front seats kind of half-assed. Crooked in there. The back seats pushed up over the front. They hooked the radio out of it. But, yeah. Brakes, they took those apart. So it's definitely an ambitious project. But, it does take an run, at least it did anyway, a couple years ago. This thing, the engine was a lot tighter than crap when I got it. So I soaked it in ATF and messed around with it and I finally got her freed up. And got her running. She actually sounded pretty good. It had been sitting, my well, last license was 1989, so it had been sitting for a few years. So, instead of boring you of all the details, I'm going to take and see if I can get her to start. I did put a hot battery in it, make sure it cranked. Get the air cleaner off here. And providing it has spark, it should fire up. I know, pouring it all over the carburetor. Well, hopefully that's enough to get her to fire up. I will let my assistant take and go turn the key and see if it'll start. I did verify it is in neutral, so it ain't going to lurch or fire up and drive and run me over or anything. Go ahead and get in her and hit the key and see if she fires. Got 
it actually runs quite a while on just filling the bowl up. That wasn't even a hard start at all. I bet it runs for 45 seconds to a minute. Oh, maybe even longer than that. Or as soon as I take you guys over there, it's going to take quit. Well, 289s are good engines. I think it's just a gas zipper. Muffler's probably rotted out, but <laughs> don't sound bad for what it is, though. I can't believe the thing's still running. Oh, she's about to quit. Yep. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. Should I bet that ran for two minutes? Yep. Let's fill her back up and try her again. We didn't burn it down the first time, so we'll try for a second. Full. All right, let's take it fire off again. I'll give it a little throttle, crank it. Champ. Easton, give it a little bit of gas. Sorry, our bump don't work, so it kind of died. Fire back up. I didn't have enough in the carburetor. After I revved it up, it kind of sucked her down. Well, let's take and try her again. Did you turn the key off? Yeah. And pour it all in the carburetor. It'll be fine. You don't need to worry about that. All right, probably the last one we're going to take and run it. All right, we'll go back here and listen to the exhaust for fun. All right, fire it up. Fire it up. 
Give it a little bit of gas when you're turning it over. I probably flooded it a little bit, so you're going to have to crank it over and give it a little throttle. get the idea all right oh the old choke took and suck shut on it see if it'll start again Gas in there if they can give it a wrap or not. Your wrapper? Nope. Engine ain't all warmed up either, so they didn't get it warmed up, so they ain't got any coolant in it to speak of. So, well, anyway, kind of get the idea there that the old 289 does run after three years or so, it still sounds real good. So, anyway, guess if you guys like content like this of messing with old dare like garbage and so on and so forth, might take and consider subscribing to the channel. So, like, share it, comment. So, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.